All right, here we go. Hey! What is up, everybody? We How are, you doing? We are back. We are finally caught up in our personal lives to be able to record some more. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't mine. It ain't. It ain't his. It ain't mine. I'm gonna mute this mic so they can enjoy this cutscene, and we can too. You hungry? Because I just ate. And I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure. I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French Ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. He's such a nice guy, isn't he? Yeah, I am too. Luke. You're such a sweet guy too. You like to run people over. I mean, I do. So I do. I do a population a service. <laughs> I do what I do because I do. I do what I do. Oh shit. I'm still getting used to having to play this again. Yeah. So excuse me, guys. It's been a little while. It's been a minute. We both haven't played this in a while, so I probably it's going terrible. New, uh, new things, you know. Look. All you need to know. Oh God. Still learning how to hit the brakes. Baby steps, people. Baby steps. Stupid cops always judging. Is this one Stone's on turn? Yeah. This is the latest one, the one that, the, not the brand one. Not the third one, this is the second one. Right? Yeah. That video you showed me... Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> well, alrighty then. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Austin Powers it. That... That flip was was something else. But that video you showed me of the of the newest one, the third one that they're coming out with, very different. <clears throat> very different. Very unique. Love it. So what are we doing here? Who's the poor guy in there? Uh, sorry about that. Who's the poor gentleman in the trunk? Um, very interested in the man in the trunk. Do I get this weapon? I'll keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldrich? Well, Bertie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit back here. Are you sure? Okay. Take the mic with you. You wanna join me back? Yeah. Why is he over a bar? We're transferring. Yeah, we're moving back. <laughs> we'll we're moving back. Let's go. Just getting a little comfortable now. Let's find him. Kick the door in. <gasps> Get the door in? Okay! No, oh, wait. Oh. oh, hang on. Fire. Fire. Fire axe. Let's get in there. Do you get to use that? Aww. I was in. Holy shit. Um, this doesn't look good. Looks like that bartender did not get any good out of that. What's this note say? Each night, my head hits the pillow. Know that I am thinking of you, my love. My dreams are filled with images of your body. The sensation of your hands running along your thighs. Your hands on me. Your lips meeting mine. You are all I need. And no man, not your father, not Fidel, Whoever that is. Fuck Fidel. Maybe Castro, who knows. We will! 
or well, I mean, will keep us apart for much longer. Love. Chi Chi. All right, fuck you. All right, cool. All right, whatever. Okay. That guy got fucked. Okay. <laughs> Oh. 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 Damn it. Who keeps killing my brethren? Damn. The whole staff got fucked. Look at this guy. Look at the chef. Damn. Poor guy. Oh, that, that's great. That guy looks like he got pulled over there. Sure did. Nice! I want to kick the door in. Donovan seems a little spooked. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, I'm gonna get his ass. Oh God, I got the drive. Try not to kill him, Lincoln. Hey, white kid. Mm -hmm. Try not to kill him. Gotcha. Gotcha. Is he still going? <laughs> Not today, bitch. All down. I wonder what happens if you actually do kill him. Like. Who the fuck are you guys? <laughs> What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama, huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? Why would you? You don't forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Paul Mana. Yeah, so? So, the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright. Are you Chucky? Oh, fuck! You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you've heard. All right, all right. Danny, the man who came in here, he's asking about a house. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Palmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again, so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he told another man he used to tap in and get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's the only thing I hear. Oh, my mother! Does that mean anything to you? Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. Alright, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Yeah! 
two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support, hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Oh, we got sniper support. Oh, damn, look at that. How about that? Well, I guess that's the first mission. Uh, let's talk to Donovan again. Fuck it. <clears throat> You got five minutes. I got this. No, I don't. Uh. Oh, shit. From the looks of that restaurant, Aldridge has some well trained men working with No surprise. I'm used to GTA driving. There was always partial to freelance. I could see the appeal of you, the mercenaries myself. Yeah, GTA drive is where we are. So. MSF <clears throat> we gotta get back on that. Motherfucker. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. A lot of cops. Black cops don't care that I'm speeding and stuff. Yeah. <sighs> this is a longer drive than I thought. God damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. But you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wild tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing I'm winding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit today. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the oh yeah. Had to do for our country. Yeah, we're used to this one. Man, don't give me the god and country. Save that for the goddamn blood. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us. But we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right. Fuck you. I promise to let this go through. Fine. I think I got this. Maybe. Oh. Well, we got two minutes and 25 seconds. Hopefully, you can go 500, whatever the hell that is. Two minutes. Safe house should be coming up. Considering the fact that I'm not even done talking, and you're already there. Fuck it. Unable to exit vehicle. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. You and the boy over there, you and you and you and Donovan, gonna do some work together, damn it. What are you looking for? 
Oh, that sniper support. Oh, hit it again. And then R1. 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 That one. There you go. And it's like your... It's like your grenade or whatever. Hit that guy. I'd hit that guy over there. I'd hit that guy because he ain't moving on this. But I understand what you're doing. Taking the shot. Making my exit. Huh? Taking the shot. Alright, I'm out. Fire free. That is sweet. I'm out. That is absolutely sick and shit. The only problem is is um Oh, that never gets old. <clears throat> well, I see Donovan's gonna be a fucking problem. <laughs> Working with Donovan. I feel like that's gonna be a fucking problem. Donovan's always just gonna get your fucking way. Yeah, he's already bumping into me and shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's gonna be fucking more of an annoyance than anything else, I think. Just fucking shoot the other guy. Oh. That guy's a good guy, though. That guy apparently is a good guy. Mmm, <laughs> bitch! Shut the fuck down! What's that right here? Oh, look at that. What do we got away? Coming to say hi. Just have some fun, fuck. Dick on this thing. Oh my god. I know, I can already tell. He missed that. Did he? Yeah. Me and him literally just cleared this whole area. That's how you do it right there. Why can't I kick a door in? Well, they know you're here now. Might as well fucking go loud.
Oh shit, man. Shoot that fucking wire or something there. Shoot the wire that's holding those things together, see if they'll fall. I guess not, okay. I wish Donovan would just go home. <laughs> it's like, I got this dude. I'm sucking it up. Oh, that was nice. Oh my god, stop pushing me! Worse than a fucking woman. <laughs> Shit's getting weird, man. Shit's getting angry. Look at him. Like, just look at Don. He's shot all the shit. I'm about to shoot him. Oh, what do we got right here? What is that? Snipers. Oh! You're up to two now. Oh, look, it's him. Some side story for that face. Shit. Something I learned about Donovan, don't piss him off. Especially if they're gonna be the dumbasses to all walk in. See nothing. I can see what the shit out of this.
gotta be a key card around here somewhere. I took all this money and shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas. ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldrich talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident to Bochka, which in Russian means little girl or kami princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. This shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew failed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered the Vachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If just gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldrich took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's what? crew? Crazy. If we could track oh my god, I know. I just don't want to drive all the way the hell out there, but I don't. Yeah. It'd be so worth it. I love crazy, bro. I know, I'm mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. We got it. Four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Pires came to the States. Where's Is Pires now? Mm-hmm. Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at an apartment store. Is that his truck? Or? No. Frisco I don't know. No way off. Poor shit. He's in my tank. The poor bastard's on his way out. He doesn't even know it. I guess we better get to Pires before Aldrich does.
that cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this in the lane. Meet me in the French ward. We'll track down higher. Thanks for the ride! Exactly. Thank you for me. No, oh, there's your car though. Alright guys, this, is, uh, this has been a 30 minute video. Didn't mean for it to be 30 minutes, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. When we come back, we will, uh, we'll continue on the story. I'm kind of liking this one. Actually. Yeah, I'm enjoying it too. It's a good backstory. I kind of enjoy it. And uh, hopefully the next one's the same. The video you showed me was a little crazy, but... We'll, yeah. We'll talk about it later. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. <coughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next part. Yeah. Mother truckers.